Former district attorney on the wrong side of the law, tonight News 8 investigates. Live from Victory Park, this is News 8 Now in High Definition. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gloria Campos. I'm John McKay. Thanks for joining us in News 8. Update in high definition at Victory Park. How long have things been bad in Rockwall? That question arose when former Rockwall County DA Ray Sumro was sentenced to four years in prison for theft of public money a few weeks ago. And tonight, new information about questionable activities by Sumro stretching back over two decades. Byron Harris tonight with more on this News 8 investigation. A drug dealer, a district attorney, and what some say is extortion. That was the beginning of questionable activities involving Ray Sumro at the beginning of his legal career. Activities that expand to charges of stealing county money for personal investment in a Rockwall hospital. Tonight, News 8 investigates. When former Rockwall County DA Ray Sumro was led away to jail in March for stealing public money, he said all he was guilty of was keeping bad records. But interviews and documents obtained by News 8 may indicate otherwise. Rockwall Police Lieutenant Carl Alsabrook has been waiting 19 years to tell what happened between Sumro and a jail inmate in 1989. It was a tragedy for the family. I can only imagine what it would do to my family if a similar thing was done to me. The family, Lupe, Laura, and Leo Chavez. Leo, a known drug dealer, had been in the Rockwall County Jail for a year on drug charges. Sumro had been friends with the drug dealer, the family says. Now Sumro was the newly elected district attorney. He said he was the law and he could do what he wanted to do. What Sumro wanted to do, the Chavez's say, was force Leo to give up some land Sumro wanted. If he didn't, the Chavez's say Sumro would make sure he spent his life in prison. Carl Alsabrook was a 20-year-old guard in the Rockwall Jail. And Leo said, well, I have to give up my property. If I give up my property, my case will go away, meaning his, uh, his criminal case that he was currently in jail for. The property involved was this junkyard outside of town. Deeds show Chavez did own the land there. Alsabrook was astounded when Sumro showed up at the jail one afternoon with a manila folder under his arm. We directed him back to Leo's cell and he walked back into Leo's cell and closed the door and was there for about 10 or 15 minutes. Leo emerged from his cell in a better frame of mind. And he said, well, my case will be transferred within 10 days. My case will be transferred to Kaufman County. The case was dismissed. Within 10 days, Leo Chavez wasn't an inmate, inmate in Rockwall County Jail anymore. Property records show the land was transferred from Leo Chavez to Ray Sumro. Just 12 acres back here. Sumro sold it to the current owner, Bobby Schindler. Fast forward to today. Leo Chavez is now dead, but his family never forgot what they say Sumro did to him. And they're content that the DA now faces a jail term. We know how he is. We know he's a mean person. <laughs> Sumro has appealed his conviction on theft, but he still faces charges of stealing $68,000 of public money between 2002 and 2006. In court, he admitted he took the money but paid it back. He says he was broke. But he took more than $30,000 and invested it in the new Presbyterian Hospital of Rockwall. Records and testimony show. Sumro has a long relationship with Ken Teal, the hospital's CEO. They fished together and invested in the hospital together, records show. Sumro's name shows up on draft contracts involving Teal and the new hospital, and in a company called Shalom Development, which sold hospital partnerships. Sumro's $30,000 investment in the hospital, made with funds he allegedly stole, grew to $80,000, documents and records show. Documents show he made a $50,000 profit on money he's accused of stealing. Over a 20-year period, Ray Sumro may have been involved in extortion, diversion of public funds, and investing the money for his own personal gain, all at a time when he was the chief legal officer of one of the fastest-growing counties in Texas. His trial on charges of theft of public money begins on Monday. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.